Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to What's New Wednesday at Kimberbell. I'm Kim, and it is so nice to see so many of you already here. Good morning, uh, Jennifer from Michigan. And hi, Kathleen. Good morning, Donna from Connecticut. Kathy from Nebraska. Hi, Patricia from Homestead, Florida. Deidre from North Carolina. Good morning, Tracy. And Kim from Maryland. Hi, Tracy. Tracy, I'm going to be talking about you today. <laughs> Tracy Bass. Uh, let's see who else is here. Hi, Cinda from Connecticut and Chris Spencer. Hello, Tina from East Texas and Dorothy from New Jersey. Deb from Delaware. I always like saying that. Deb from Delaware. Good morning, Melody from Illinois and Michelle. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Well, it's sure good to be with you today. As you can see, I'm not in my regular home sewing studio. I am actually um, <clears throat> filming this morning some tutorials uh, at our Kimberbell headquarters. So I'm in a little different of a studio. So cute, isn't it? Oh. You know, we have this gal here, her name's Shay, and she always sets up the most amazing backdrops for everything that we do. This is just one of the many. So anyway, shout out to her. So I am here with Andrew. We are filming um, some tutorials for the brand new cuties that are coming out. And today that's what we're going to be spending most of our time on uh, because I cannot wait to show you what they look like in person, and uh, just some of the possibilities with them too. So super excited. So nice to have so many of you here um, already. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to talk about is show and tell or so and tell with Kimberbell. So and tell, right? Here we go. Let's go ahead and get started with that. <laughs> All righty, there you have it. You guys, please don't be disappointed in me, but <laughs> I was only able to quickly grab two photos um, for So and Tell. I had a whole bunch in mind that I wanted to share today, and it's going to have to wait till next week because this morning was a little crazy with filming. But um, I did grab two that I wanted to talk about. Um, this is, I'll preface it just a little bit. Last Wednesday, um, for What's New Wednesday, I actually did, I wanted to show you another possibility of doing something with the Sweetest Pie bench pillow. Um, a lot of you have turned them into table runners, wall hangings, you name it, tea towel designs that we've talked about, um, apron designs. There's so many fun things you can do with the designs themselves. So last Wednesday on What's New Wednesday, um, I showed how to make a pin cushion um, using the top of the cherry pie. It's just the regular five by seven um, cherry pie applique design. It had the, it had the, you know, the lattice to it, which is so cute. And I realized that it would fit perfectly into a pie tin. So I ordered some pie tins, some disposable pie tins. I stuffed it and then made little pin cushions out of it. And I was, I, I it was so fun to share uh, that idea last Wednesday. What I love even better, though, is when people like will take that idea and then we're all inspired, right, by each other to do even more with it. And so the two posts that I'm going to share today are based on that. You've probably seen them on the Kimber Bellas and Fellas page because they were wows for sure. Um, if you're wondering, what are you talking about, Kim? Um, I noticed that someone was asking, okay, where is the little tutorial? And when I say little, it's pretty mini uh, tutorial on how to do this. Um, I think someone mentioned it was at about the 19 minute mark. If you know where that was from last What's New Wednesday, uh, chime in. Because I did see someone said, oh, I think it's about the 19 minute mark, which is awesome because then you don't have to watch the whole thing. You can just go right to it and see how I did that. But here are the two that like really just like made me so happy. I'm sure they did for you too. 
my friend out there, Tracy, look at what she did. She said, OMG, thank you so much for the idea. I didn't have the foil tins, but I found these cute ceramic ones and put my walnut shells and stuffing in it. So much fun to make. This is from the Sweetest Pie Binge Pillow. Tracy, no words. Like, I am so happy. Like, when that popped up on my screen, I just squealed. I was so happy to see what you did. So I did it in a tin, aluminum tin, uh, tin, pie tin. Um, it's a five inch size, by the way. But she was able to find some of these little more like ceramic ramekin type pie um, tins and did that turn out so cute or what? I know you guys all loved it. Um, I was thrilled to see that. I loved how you add the addition, added the addition of the little cute red bow. Like it makes me want to run out to the store and find those as well. So I've got my aluminum ones and now I've got to have some ceramic ones too. Tracy, thank you so much for sharing that, for inspiring the rest of us to, you know, try something a little different. Um, that was just such a thrill. That looks so cute as a pincushion, but that, wouldn't that be so cute on a, like a tear tray? Lots of fun to be had with that cute little pie. And then the second thing I wanted to mention from Sew and Tell was that then Deborah, yay, Deborah, I love this. She says, Thank you, Kim. Um, from Kimberbell, the pie tin. Let's see, tins I ordered got lost in the mail. That's too bad, but it turns out maybe that was a, a sweet um, mishap, right? Because Tracy's idea. Yes, Tracy. She said for the glass pie tins worked great too. I just love the creativity of this group. And I do too, Deborah. Isn't it awesome? So Deborah, it looks like you might have done, is it the cherry pie there? Maybe it was the blue, uh, put blue under. I can't tell from the picture, but it was one of the lattice pies. And then you also did a pumpkin pie, um, which doesn't that fit perfectly? just awesome. And then you added the little bow to the front as well. So cute in every way, Deborah. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I also noticed in another post that someone mentioned that they could find those five inch um, little ceramic pie tins um, at the dollar store. Gosh, I need to go to the dollar store more often because you guys find the coolest things that like work so well with some camera bell projects. It reminds me um, when, and people are still doing this too, but a while ago, people were finding um, the little wooden trays um, that our mug rugs fit perfectly into. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and so they found those at the dollar store. And now people are finding the little five inch um, ceramic ones uh, for the pies and you're finding those. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Chris Hill says um, Hobby Lobby has some too. Yeah. So really, <laughs> um, you know, if you just keep your eye out for these kinds of things, before you know it, you're like, I walked by that aisle all the time and never even thought twice about buying that ceramic pie plate, pie dish, right? And now I think there's going to be a run on <laughs> ceramic pie dishes at the dollar store. So, so, so cool. So anyway, Deborah, Tracy, thank you for sharing those. That's super cool. All right. So... <laughs> I love this. I love what you guys are saying. Uh, Judy says they have cute fall loaf pans as well. Mm, that would make a really cute pin cushion, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, Rose. She says, what size are the pie tins? They're the five inch size, five inch. I just got my pie tins on Amazon, um, but it sounds like the dollar store has them too. And the ceramic ones, which are super cute. All right. Oh, Deborah says Costco has a box of eight ceramic cups for sale. Oh, so awesome, right? Okay, guys, that just made my day, made my week. Thank you for sharing that. Keep sharing your ideas. I love it. Okay, Tammy, my friend, she says, where do I find the directions for the pin? The pie pin cushion. I called it a pinkin pie. <laughs> Get it? Pinkin pie. Um, Last week, last Wednesday, what's new Wednesday, I 
think it's about the 19 minute mark because <laughs> I saw someone else post that somewhere that said it was a 19 minute mark. If I'm wrong on that, someone correct me. But it was on last new win last week's What's New Wednesday, and I just really showed how simple it was. You you basically stitch out your design from Sweetest Pie, um, and then I mean it literally is the exact size you need. You don't need to change anything about it, uh, the sizing. And then I just hot glued uh, one side of the rim placed it down on top and then I stuffed it underneath with stuffing. I also mentioned using walnut shells um, if you're going to use it as a pin cushion. And then after that, you finish gluing the rest of it. So simple. Yeah, <laughs> Judy, <laughs> she says our dollar store are now $1.25. Yeah, you know, inflation. We all get it, right? <laughs> Yeah, it, somehow it doesn't have the same ring to it for the title, right? A dollar twenty-five store. <laughs> anyway, good luck, everyone, finding those dishes, and I can't wait to see what else you do. So, just one more way to share the fun of sweet as pie. If you have not purchased that yet, it's not too late. Shops all over literally the world are carrying sweetest pie so find the fabric kits the embellishment kits the the designs themselves the the cd all of it at a, a quilt shop near you or online so pretty awesome all right what is next in kimberbell land let's talk some new background quilting and if my friend lynn is out there she's gonna be especially thrilled for what I'm about to show. Let me see if I can find it here. Yes. All right. You've been asking for some more autumn designs and we have it. We have it today. It went on sale this morning. Woo! Can we all give a round of applause to our background quilting team, our digitizers, our IT guys for getting this up on the site and ready to have you download it today. This is so beautiful, isn't it? So you get a one inch border with these. So look over to your left, right here. Everything's backwards for me right there. That is a one inch design. You get this all in the same download um, that has just a beautiful smothering of little leaves there. Perfect for one inch borders. Um, and then sashing borders would be great for a sashing border. And then two, three, four, five, and six inch widths with those big leaves. You've got a maple leaf and uh, whatever we call them, all the leaves, right? Um, anyway, I just absolutely love it. I love, it's just, it's simple. Um, it doesn't, it, it's just stunning and can be used for so many things for fall. Yay, thank you to the people in the background at Kimberbell for making that possible today. We're so excited. So to find that, well, let me first tell you the next one because there's actually a twofer today, right? There's two new designs listed in the Kimberbell background quilting design files. It's boo. <laughs> so this is for obviously Halloween. There we go. And so we got the blue design. It is a blue design, which means it's a clear blue tile design. It can work for block by block quilting or clear blue tiles quilting. And I just think that's stinking cute. Pretty darn adorable. So there you have it, a ghost design with boo and then the a, a little more um, formal design with the autumn leaves. Thank you so much to Kimberbell's background quilting team. Um, both of those are now available. If you go to Kimberbell.com, click on products at the top of the website, uh, scroll over to where it says background quilting, and there you will find both of those. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, of course, is if you are um, affiliated with a shop, a quilt shop, who also is an affiliate for Kimberbell's Background Quilting Designs, of course, go through their link and um, then they get some credit for that as well. So anyway, either way, we are so excited for you to have a few more Background Quilting Designs just in time for, um, you know, October, November or really any time of the year on that fall leaf one, right? All right, so there you have it. I hope I hope you're you're loving them. I sure am. Diana says, boo is so spectacular. I agree, Diana. 
That was pretty darn cute. Uh, Kim says, love both the new background quilting designs. Thank you, Kim. I, I hope our team is uh, watching this because I want them to see how how grateful you guys are. That's awesome. Tammy says, woohoo, perfect timing. I'm getting ready to teach Broomhilda. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad. So, so glad. Mary says, gotta watch What's New Wednesday. Cuties and background quilting designs. Fun stuff always coming from your team, Kim. You're not a kitten, Mary. There are so many fun things coming from this team. Um, it's pretty awesome. I'm so, so grateful for each and every one of them. They all work so hard. So it's especially fun to then send it out there into the world and see what you guys um, are excited about. All right. With that being said, Kimber Bell cuties. Kimber Bell cuties are in the house and they are coming to a cool shop near you very, very, very soon. In fact, uh, next week. So this week they started being sent to distributors. Distributors are companies that then also sell them to the, the independent quilt shops out there, okay? So those were sent this week. Next week, they are sent to shops that are on auto ship. And then the next week, they're sent to all shops on our general release. So they have been, they've had the samples, the shops have had samples to start making. So maybe you've seen your shop starting to make these Kimberbell cuties. What are they? They're a 22 by 22 inch table topper uh, for every month. We had Kimberbell Cuties, a volume one that we did years ago. It seems like it seems like a whole nother lifetime ago. This was back in maybe, I want to say 2013, maybe when the first Kimberbell Cuties came out. And they're still just as popular. People love making these monthly table toppers, right? Um, it's just fun to quilt and piece and applique and all, everything on in the hoop, isn't it? And back then, that's when we were doing sewing versions of things. And then we had some, uh, we were introducing, slowly introducing some machine embroidery. Um, so that was available as like two separate products. Um, there was the sewing book and then there was the machine embroidery version of the appliques that went on the corners. Now today, 2022 guys, volume two has been reimagined, so to speak, in such a beautiful way. It actually comes um, together as one product. So there's not two separate products you have to buy. It's all in one. And the first set, you're going to get six at a time. So volume two, this very first set is volume two, January, February, March, April, May, and June. All right. And then come, I think in March this year, um, the next set, July through December will be released. All right. So are you ready to see how cute the cuties are? And then we're going to have a fun little giveaway afterwards. So here we go. Um, this is January. These are 22 by 22 inch sizes. And, um, unlike, you know, before in volume one, again, we were doing more sewing stuff. So in volume one, you had to like piece these projects together on your sewing machine, these center blocks, I should say, um, on your sewing machine. Well, now, it's all done on your embroidery machine. Isn't that awesome? And the other thing I really love about this is that you're doing some very um, traditional type back or not background quilting, traditional type style of blocks in the center. So you'll recognize this if you're a quilter out there, you'll, you're going to recognize this as the Dresden fan, right? And so it's done in these four different blocks here. Um, the Dresden fan is uh, pieced and, and applique here. And then you've got the four blocks that you sew together, put on your inner borders. And then you have the fun corner designs that everyone just loves so much right there and this one i just when this got put together i said we've got to have everyone loved the cute little snowman on cup of cheer we've got to use him uh this time with some skis for january so he's a little different um and he's got you know he's ready for winter right isn't that adorable all right so before um i'm trying to think how to, to 
how to uh, explain the background quilting. We'll talk about that after. Let me show you all the designs first, and then I'm going to talk about how cool the background quilting files are if you would like to, if you choose to do this on your home embroidery machine. But as you can see there, there's some fun designs there, and we're going to be showing you how to quilt the corners. Yes, the corners with block our block by block quilting method. And then last week I talked about the new um, style of border designs that are going to be available and the bitty blocks, all the things. But isn't that fun? Oh, too much fun. Okay. Spent a lot of time on January, but I love it. I love it. And shops right now, they're starting to take pre-orders for this. There's they, a lot of shops are doing um, kits and clubs, and they're going to get you all the fabrics you, ne you want and need. So find a shop that's uh, super excited about Kimberbell Cuties. Look at this one for February. Okay. Do you guys recognize this block? This is a traditional block, but now done on the embroidery machine. This is what we would typically refer to as the card trick block. All right, so this center area is the card trick block. It does use applique to do that. And then look at this February design in the corner. Oh my gosh, so fun. Love the colored vinyls on there. It just makes it pop, doesn't it? And when we first put this together, we were just doing, you know, regular appliques. And then we said, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wouldn't this be so cute with vinyl on top to give it just that little extra touch? And um, I... I just couldn't be more thrilled with how that turned out. Look at the background quilting with all those X's going across there. Look at the background quilting with those cute little triangles going in the inner border. And look at the background quilting on those hearts and arrows. Oh my goodness. Look at that all over the place. Remember, what am I going to say? You know what I'm going to say. You got to think beyond just these projects. The background quilting that will soon be available for this can be used for so many things, right? You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? <laughs> March. Here's the March, okay? Again, this is with the card trick block. So there's three different centers that you can choose from. And then uh, you choose from three. We use the card trick block in this one as well. And then look at the little gnome leprechaun. My goodness. Okay. He's pretty darn cute. And he's... You're, you're going to learn how to do chenille in the hoop on the embroidery machine with his little beard. Look at the fun X's going across that one. Oh, my goodness. And then our little bitty block there. So cute with the shamrock. Um, there have been quite a few of you that have asked about background quilting with gnomes. I have good news. There is background quilting with gnomes on this one. Let me see if I can find. Oh, here we go. How well can you see that little gnome? There he is. Isn't that cute? And he's all over the place with this background quilting design. There's loops and gnomes and loops and gnomes and loops and more gnomes. So you could take the background quilting from that and put it on something entirely different. Okay. All right. So that was March, April. There we go. This one might be my favorite. I just think he is so stinking adorable. Look at that cute little velveteen. Yep, velveteen rabbit. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I love this. What we would, you know, again, if we're thinking traditional quilt blocks, but done on a version machine, we would think about this design as being like a, an orange peel design, right? It's an orange, what we would call an orange peel. But I love what our team did. And they said, it's an orange peel design. But on this particular one, we're going to do it so it looks like carrots. So that's why they chose the orange fabrics here. And then the tops of the carrots were the green fabrics. Isn't that great? What a fun way to do that. So here's a look, you guys. Look at the background quilting. Do you see the, let's, boy, let's see. Do you see the carrots? Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> little carrots all over the place. So cute, right? And then this has some um, little uh, circles, overlapping circles going all the way across. So fun. The overlapping circles also create like the orange peel effect, doesn't it? Awesome. If you could squeeze this bunny through the screen, you would just go, oh my goodness, I can't get any cuter. We put our flexi foam underneath it. So he's nice and poofy, right? So he's made with some velveteen. Don't you love that little carrot? Oh. And just, this is just, it's simple, but striking. <laughs> If that's a phrase, simple but stunning. I don't know what it is about this rabbit, but I just love him. I just absolutely love him. And look, you're making fringe, his little fringe tail, all on the embroider machine too. Do you guys see that with every month, you're learning new techniques on how to use that embroidery machine and having a whole lot of fun too while you're doing it. Love it, love it. Okay. Here's me. Look at that one. Again, we used the orange peel design here. We changed up the fabrics to be, you know, a couple of blues, a couple of oranges, just a nice all over uh, looking pattern here. But look at the butterfly. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And this picture does not do it justice. If you could see this in person, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Um, you would see that there are some gorgeous things going on with the applique stitching here, the, the stitching that our digitizers put into this one. And there's also some beautiful mylar happening here on the butterfly wings. Um, and then, of course, the center is glitter, a black glitter um, uh, center of that butterfly. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. I love it. I think it's going to last through spring and summer in my house. Wow. And then we've got some pretty butterflies floating around. And then look at the background quilting there on that inner border. So fun. All right. And finally, let's look at June. <laughs> Your comments are so, so nice. Love it. Okay. So this is June. Hello. Ice cream, right? Summer, we're loving it. So we used our pink leather here for the ice cream cone. Look at those cute little sprinkles. And then we've got little cherries in the background. Isn't that a fun summer design motif? Look at the, the borders with our new block by block borders method. If you're wondering what I'm talking about with the new block by block borders method, I think I talked about it last week. <laughs> All my what's new Wednesdays start running together, folks, in my head, but I'm pretty sure it was last week. Maybe the week before? No, I'm pretty sure it was last week. Um, check that out because look how you can do these um, continuous looking borders now with Kimberbell that just connect one to the other. Um, and it's a method we call block by block borders. And um, there's some really fun ones coming out. So check that out. We just released one of them so far um, in background quilting, but there's like five or so more coming out really, really soon. So this one also used the, uses the Dresden fan block. And again, look at those cute cherries that are just surrounding it all over really, really fun stuff. So what do you think? Oh my goodness. That's the first six. Wait till you see the next six. Oh, wow. But you know, sometimes, and I mentioned this last week, sometimes, you know, we were doing like um, cup of cheer, which of course was, you know, a lot of work and, and you guys are killing it with that. You're, you're getting it done. It's just awesome to see. Um, and we have some of these bigger projects, but it's also nice in addition to those, it's also nice just to have a little something <laughs> that we can just sit down in one, two, three settings and get it done all, all, uh, you know, maybe in a weekend. And these Kimberbell cuties do that for sure. Um, ah, Beth, 
She says, Kimber Bell always knocks it out of the ballpark. That is very, very kind of you. Chris says, how can you choose only one? I will be making all of them. Yeah, they're they're just fun and cute and easy and giftable. And if you don't want to gift it, make it for yourself. <laughs> By all means, make it for yourself. But how cute would it be to make like a set of those? So here's an idea for Christmas. You know how we, um, you know, tell me if I'm right here. <laughs> how many of you have that hard to gift for person? You're like, you know what? They've got it all, or I don't know what to do for them, or what would, you know, I, you just like your hands are in the air. Maybe it's a mother, mother-in-law. I mean, just saying, love you, mom and mother-in-law, but there's sometimes when we're just not sure um, something we that we could give them. And oftentimes I will think, okay, wouldn't it be cool, especially for especially if someone's maybe living alone or whatever, okay? Um, wouldn't it be cool if they received something every month, kind of like a, a like um, a flower subscription, you know, you send, uh, you know, the flowers of the month type of club, or, you know, sometimes we do like a, oh, I'm trying to think, like the cookie of the month club or that kind of thing. See, following me here? What if for Christmas, this, this doesn't mean you have to have them all done by Christmas. This means that for Christmas, you maybe make one of them. Maybe you make the, the snowman one for winter, right? You just give them the one, but you also give them a little note that says, you are now going to get a cutie of the month. And every month you surprise them with a new cutie that is delivered, sent in the mail across the country, wherever, that they, I mean, think of the reaction you're, that they would get, right? They would go, that, that would brighten their day. They open up a box from you. Every month you're giving them the gift that keeps on giving and you give them a new table topper. That would be pretty fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think so. Um, okay, Tina, she says, my 88-year-old mother-in-law loves all the holiday table runners I have made her. Right? They, you know, sometimes it's just hard to know what to do. And I think that right there is, is the perfect example of someone that is going to have their day brightened by having a special new table topper each month. It's just awesome. Okay. Um, also, I saw a comment fly by earlier that said, make them into pillows. Yeah, absolutely. You could make those into pillows. That would be cute. Make them into wall hangings. Um, all kinds of things. Ooh, Judy. Hi. She says, I wonder if they could be stitched up as a table runner. My table is rectangular. Absolutely. 100% yes, Judy. For sure. There's no doubt about that. Um, I'm just thinking off the top of my head right here, Judy, but what if even you could do the corner, like think of a long table runner, right? Where it comes to a corner at each end, you could have that as the corner on each end. And then I like to do things in odds. So I would probably do like three of these centers, one, two, three, a corner on each end. There you go. You've got a long table runner. Hmm, I might give that a whirl. Uh, thanks, Judy, for that idea. All right. Uh, Joanna, she says, fun for someone in the rest home for their room. Yeah, just it would absolutely brighten their day, right? Leslie says, can't wait to get started. Oh, good, Leslie. I'm so glad you love it. They, they are going to be fun for sure. For sure. Um, Karen says, I love the idea of giving a cutie of the month club. I love the idea I get from watching these videos. Everyone's saying that is so nice of you, Karen. Thank you for sharing that. I sure hope so. Cause you know, it's just, it's fun. And then I love ideas coming from you guys. This is awesome. Uh, okay. Joyce says, is this a monthly subscription? Um, it's not from Kimberbell directly, but certainly 
um, find a quilt shop out there that may be offering that as a monthly subscription. I know a lot of them are. Um, so check it out. Find, find a quilt shop near you or online that is doing that. And I'm sure they would be more than happy to, to help you for sure. Again, um, I think that, um, you know, just, just doing these, whether you do a rectangle, like Judy mentioned, I love that idea. Um, whether you're doing a square, whether you're doing a pillow, what I think of the possibilities. There's some cute stuff going on there. Now let's talk about, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so fun. Um, let's talk about what I've been filming today because it has to do with these cuties. And then we're going to talk about um, the giveaway. So what's cool, and it's going to be coming out very, very, very soon, so keep watching the website, is that a lot of you are asking about background quilting, and I'm doing a couple of tutorials because there are, like I mentioned, there is background quilting available um, for these. It's a separate download, so find a shop that is an affiliate or go to Kimberbell.com for these downloads. Um, they're not available on the website yet, but they will be here soon. And that we're going to show you how to do um, the background quilting with the block by block method on the corner triangles, which is awesome because that means like it's going to fit perfectly in that corner triangle. So I'm doing two different video tutorials on this. One, the first one is if you have an 8 by 12 or a 9 by 14 hoop, you can do this entire background quilting in one hooping. All right? 8 by 12 or 9 by 14, you're going to be able to do that. One hooping, easy peasy. But I'm going to show you how to do it on, on one of my video tutorials that I'm filming today. Um, the second option is if Oh, there might be a lot of you that go, gosh, darn it, I don't have an 8x12 or 9x14 hoop. I like to say, we got you. We got you. You know, when, if possible, we certainly try to make things available for those who have a 5x7 hoop. So the good news is the second video tutorial I'm filming is on how to do, get the same look of background quilting on those triangles with a 5x7 hoop. Now, I will tell you, it's going to require three hoopings, but I don't want you to go, whoa, that's too much. That's overwhelming. It's so, so easy. You won't believe how our digitizers put this together to make it seamless, to make it look like you have a large hoop, but you didn't. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through step by step on the video on how to do that. So no problem. Whether you have a 5x7 hoop, you can do it in three hoopings. Or if you have an 8x12 or 9x14 hoop, you can do it in one hooping. Pretty awesome, right? So there you have it. So excited! Um, so the background quilting, I, like I said, it's a separate purchase, okay? But you can use it way beyond, um, way beyond. And what I understand from, from the, our team is that there's going to be a separate bundle for all of the background quilting for the cuties um, that uh, will do the corners, it'll do the centers, all the things. And then there will be separate designs and it will be called like the cuties bundle. Okay, the cuties bundle January through June in this case. Um, and then those designs can also um, be available as separate ones too. So anyway, there you go. All the details on that uh, will be coming very, very soon. It kind of makes me think it's coming out next week, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> I could be wrong on that, but pretty cool. All right. Okay, Dolores. My friend, she says, excited for the help with five by seven quilting. Yeah, you know, I mean, I get it. I get it. We, you, we all, um, you know, it, it depends on what machine you have. And some of us, you know, have larger hoops and some of are just fine and happy and thrilled with a five by seven hoop. And that's awesome too. What we don't want you to feel ever is that you can't do stuff with a smaller hoop. You can, um, but it's just going to take a little bit more steps and that's okay too. So, but if you have an, a larger hoop, you're going to be really happy that it can be done in one hooping. 
So pretty fun. All right. So there you have it. Kimberbell Cuties, Volume 2, January through June, coming to a quilt shop near you very, very, very soon. Now, there's a few things that you're going to want to get, get <laughs> to be prepared for Kimberbell Cuties coming out. So I'm going to give um, two people a bundle of this today. Um, because I want you to be prepared. So if you're looking to um, be prepared yourself and you're not a winner uh, this week, then um, find a shop who carries this stuff. But there are three Kimberbell products. Oh, well, four actually, four, that you're going to want to have on hand. So make a checklist right now in your head. Okay, I got it. I got it. I don't have it. I need to go get it, right? Um, but two different people are going to win all of this that I'm showing today. So you're going to want fusible backing. Kimberbell's fusible backing. That is one of the things you're going to want to have because it's going to, oh, it's so good. I love this fusible backing, but it reduces puckering greatly. <laughs> you fuse it onto the back of your background quilt blocks and then you quilt and then it um, takes care of that. So fusible backing, no puckering, it's awesome. It also prevents shadowing. Um, if there are any applique fabrics that are on top of a darker fabric, you put this on it first and it will reduce any shadowing. So two people are each gonna win fusible backing. Okay, you're gonna get, actually you're gonna get the large 20 inch rolls by the way. Woo -woo. Okay. Um, and you could certainly do it with the smaller rolls, but for those who have larger hoops, let's just go ahead and give you the big one, right? 20 inch rolls, fusible backing. The next thing you're going to want is Kimberbell project batting. So there you have it. You know what? Even if uh, you already have this stuff, you can never have too much, right? So Kimberbell's project batting is what we are using in the middle to quilt it. So you've got that nice quilted look. People love the project batting. It's just the right loft. And as I like to say, it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just right. And it's got some stabilization in it. It's awesome stuff. You can never have enough of this. We're going to give you the whole 20 inch roll. Now this one I used uh, this morning in my tutorial. So I've already taken out of its package, but thankfully, I've got the Kimberbell slap bands to tell me that this is the light cutaway stabilizer. So you're also going to get a 20 inch roll of the light Kimber light cutaway stabilizer. All right. That's going to come in your kit. And then the next thing you're going to need, and I, I, I hesitate to even show you this because we don't have any more of these, but you're going to get a roll of paper tape. <laughs> How's that? Um, these are sold out. Oh, crazy. But these are paper tape dispensers. Holds the Kimberbell paper tape. You're gonna you're gonna want a roll of um, the paper tape. Okay. So four products that you're gonna want to make sure you have on hand. Either you already have it, or you're gonna find a shop um, that has it and bring in some more. Right. Once again, so two people are gonna win. Light cutaway stabilizer. Kimberbell's project batting. Kimberbell's fusible backing, and the tape. Not only that, but two people are also going to win when it becomes available, the background quilting bundle for Kimberbell Cuties Volume 2, January through June. Isn't that so cool? Bravo, bravo, bravo. I'm so excited. So how are you going to win? Okay, here's what you're going to do. You know the drill. What I want you to do is on YouTube, while you're at YouTube, you know what I'm going to say, like and subscribe to our, our, our YouTube channel um, because that's another way to win. You can add a comment there. Which one of the cuties is your favorite? That's all I want to hear. Tell me at YouTube, which one of the cuties is your favorite? The second place you can enter is which one of the cuties is your favorite is, of course, on this Facebook page right here under the video. Just make in the type in the comments which one of those cuties is your favorite. Is it the snowman? Is it the candy, the, hmm, the conversation hearts, that candy one, Valentine? You know what I'm talking about. Is it the gnome, like the little 
<laughs> is it those no leprechaun gnome? Is it the bunny? Is it the butterfly? Or is it the ice cream? Or you can say January, February, March, April, May, June. Any of those. How easy is that, right? And a third way you can enter is go to the Kimberbell Instagram page. Go to the Kimberbell Instagram page. And there you can also enter. So we'll have a post and there about the cuties. And just type in the comments again, which is your favorite? And two people are going to win the entire background quilting bundle for the cuties and all this other stuff. Tape. <laughs> all right. So there you have it. What a fun giveaway, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Cindy says, I love the gnomes. Awesome. I do too. Sandra says, how can you choose which is cuter? Hers would be the snowman. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Wow, they're going through fast. Amy says, wow, amazing giveaway. Bunnies for sure. The cutest. Yeah. I think they're my favorite too, but you know, who knows? They're, I mean, they're all just really, really cute. Um, anyway, you, uh, you know, if you can't catch this live, we want to make sure everyone can participate. So, um, you have all day today, all day tomorrow, Thursday to enter this giveaway at one of all three places or all three places. You could have three chances um, to, to find out about it or to, to enter it, I should say. And, um, we will announce the two winners on this Friday morning on Facebook. There you have it. So what do you guys think? I'm so excited. Okay. Melissa says the bunny is my favorite and the bundle makes it super sweet. Thank you, Melissa. Love it. Yeah. So much fun. So much fun. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love the Valentine's on it. They're, I can't even keep up with all the all the messages coming through. This just makes my day and it makes a whole lot of other people's days in the background. Can you imagine? I'm just gonna just just divert just a minute, but can you imagine as a creator of these kinds of things at Kimberbell? Um, you know, it takes a whole team of people and They've been working on these. These things take about 11 months in the making, okay? Everything, Bella Box, Kimberbell Cuties, you know, um, Cup of Cheer, all the things. And for 11 months, this team of people, we have 115 people behind the scenes, are working so hard on making something that we hope you guys will love. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your joy. Thank you for your excitement. I can't wait to take this back to the team and let them know that you're excited for Kimberbell Cuties. And all things Kimberbell. May not always be your cup of tea, but if it is, you know, we also love, we love to hear it all. All right. So thank you for your support, everyone. You're awesome. Okay. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, oh, next week. I'm so excited. I have a special guest coming on next week for What's New Wednesday with me. We're going to be talking Bella Box, um, the new family tree. I cannot wait to have this person on. And um, we're just going to have some fun chatting all things Bella Box. So join me next week for What's New Wednesday, including a few other new things coming out from Kimberbell. Can't wait to show you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.